Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at skewness of stem plots. So this includes negative, positive and symmetrical skew. You might be thinking, why do I have pictures of feet here? Well, in a bit you'll see how this will help you remember skewness of graphs. So, let's have a look at our feet. I'm going to draw a line down here. We're going to outline our two left and right foot, just like that. So usually our big toe is the taller part of our foot, so that's the shape it has. Our left foot will look like a negative skew. As you can see, there is an E in left and also E in negative, which hopefully will help you remember this. Our right foot, our right foot in, don't get it mixed up, our right foot is now a positive skew. As you can see, there's an I in right and also an I in positive. Finally, we have the symmetrical skew. So, symmetrical is a more easy one. A lot of students get mixed up with their positive and negative skews. So this is one way I um, memorize this. Okay, so the skews that I've shown you before are the typical ones you see when you Google skewness, positive and negative. They're all flat like. They're all for graphs like this. Histograms, dot plots, they're for those. For stem plots though, the stem and leaf plot is a bit different. So its data is all flipped. It's rotated 90 degrees. They're sideways this time, which means that we will have to move our feet to match that. So this one is facing upwards, the right way. Now we're just gonna rotate it 90 degrees sideways. So your feet are sideways. Okay, like before, we are just gonna outline the feet to show us the shape of the skew again. There. So our left foot is a negative and our right foot is still a positive. And they're all skew, so I'll add in Okay, so an example of this as a stem and leaf plot would look like this. So for a negative skew, we don't have much data at the top. So see here, the tail, there's few data on that side. So we're going to do the same here, there's one, two, but then at the bottom there's heaps of data, so this side, there's way more, yeah, that will give you a similar shape to your negative skew, right there. So that's how you can um, tell if your stem and leaf plot is a negative or positive skew. I'll do another example here for the positive skew. So you can see here that there's a lot of data, it's very high. So I'm going to recreate that very high at the top and slowly your data decreases, it's not much in the higher values. Outlining this stem leaf plot, you'll see that your two outlines look fairly similar. So it'll be a positive skew. So before we head off, we're going to go through an example with actual data of stem leaf plot. I'm actually going to finish this off. It still needs a key, so I'm going to pick that one. So 2, line 3, and I'm going to say that is 23. Okay, now we can start analysing this. So I'm going to go and draw a outline over this plot there. It doesn't look like a bell curve. Of a symmetrical so it could either be a negative or positive skew you just don't know which one yet 
So I'm just gonna do a quick way. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. If you can just imagine your feet just lying sideways on the on the side right now, you can just imagine that this is your left foot and this is your right foot. So go back a few um, seconds or minutes just to see the foot again if it helps you visualize it more. Okay, so remember our left is our negative skew. That's because they both have an E in it. And our right is our positive skew. It's because they both have an I in it. Okay, so which one does our actual stem leaf pot look similar to? It's this one. It's a negative skew. And don't be alarmed if some of your stem leaf pots don't look like a negative, positive or symmetrical skew. Sometimes it doesn't have any. But for this one, it's negative. Okay, so I'm just going to write down that this pot is a negative skew. And we can see here that we have very few low values. Whereas we have much more high values over here. So that's another observation we can make with negative skews. Is that it has very few low values for our stem leaf plot right here.